Okay, so I just wanted to um, show you guys what the difference is in uh, some screens I started looking into. I just recently got into Arduino a couple months ago, and it's actually a lot of fun. And man, oh man, have I gotten really far! But uh, I just want to go over the uh, the differences of two uh, RGB screens that I found. This guy over here is a, a New Haven display I got off DigiKey, and this one is uh, the Adafruit. Uh, this is a custom one that they had built uh, f for their specifications. So the New Haven one uh, right here, it's your standard layout, uh, but it has 18 pins instead of 16. The other two are to control the other two colors because this is an RGB uh, backlight. So if we flip it over, you can actually see this is the positive version uh, right here. But um, the, the negative versions, I just love to death. They look so cool. Uh, but basically the way that they work is that the, the 15th lead is uh, ground. And then uh, 16, 17, 18 are your positives uh, for your RGB. Uh, they are not resisted, so you have to put resistors in there. I forget, I think I use a 100 ohm and 150 ohm. The red takes a different um, amperage than the other, so you got to give them a different voltage. Now the weird thing about the Adafruit one, they tried to make this backwards compatible uh, with other um, Arduino projects. So the pin layout is still the same. The uh, pin 15 is positive. And now the other three are negatives. So you're controlling the negative side of the LEDs, which is a lot different than this one where you control the positive LEDs with resisted voltage. This one has a uh, resistance built in. So it's got the resistors. You just hook in your 5 volts, positive, and your negative, and you're good to go. So on that note, it's kind of cool because you don't need any extra uh, hardware. But uh, let's turn this off real quick so you can get a good look at it in the dark. Now I've been having trouble trying to adjust the contrast on this to make it look good. I almost got to turn it up all the way to really get a nice solid contrast. This one, oh my god, that contrast is beautiful. So this one, we can turn it all the way this way, and go all the way this way, and we can keep going. And For my eyes, it's, it's amazing because it's still sharp, and you can even get all the boxes to disappear before you see flicker. So it actually looks really nice. So I might have to adjust the uh, exposure here. You can see that this one is a lot brighter. And that's because uh, whatever they use as the, uh, the the background isn't as dark. This one has a much darker background. So this one, you get really good contrast with it. The text, uh, the colors seem to pop a little bit more just because the background's blacker and it gives you more contrast. With this one, everything kind of seems to be the same color and only the text boxes show the contrast. Maybe that's why it looks so weird. Because with this one, the whole outside is also blacked out. Okay, so now I got the uh, the ISO turned way down so you can actually see it a little bit better. So here's the blue. Uh, so I'll switch this guy over to the green now. And I just have to move the wire for this one. And just so that the text matches. So that's the green right there. You can see this one has, like, like I said before, a lot more contrast just because of the background. This one, it, uh, I don't know. It's not, it's not as ap appealing. It's just all kind of the same color. There's not as much contrast. And then finally the red. So there's the red side by side. And actually for the red, I'm going to adjust the contrast a little bit just to get rid of the flicker. So you can see them side by side. The red actually doesn't look half bad. That one's okay looking, but personally I definitely prefer the New Haven display. It just has a lot more contrast to the backlight. So it's something interesting you might not uh, notice from images, but it's definitely something to look out for, definitely important. So overall, Adafruit wins on the, uh, the ease of use per se. It doesn't make sense right off the bat because uh, they're negative controlled, 
but the resistors are already in there, so it's technically plug and play, you're ready to go. All you have to do is sync current to whatever LED you want in your set. But for viewability, I like that New Haven display quite a lot. It just has a much more poppy looking um, text to it. And it makes sense to me because you have one ground and then three positives that you can control, so you're giving power. You're, you know, applying power instead of sinking current. So, hope that helps you with your decision. Definitely a learning experience, no matter what you buy. There's always something out there that'll sneak up on you. Oh, and just for shirts and googles, I did get the 4x20 uh, screen as well, just to try out. It has the same uh, effect as the uh, the 16x2. This is both from Adafruit. But real quick, I'll just show you the other colors here. So, there's the blue and the red. So it looks very similar to uh, the other one. But yeah, the contrast just doesn't pop. It's definitely cool. You know, it's cool to have an, uh, an RGB uh, 4x20 screen. You can definitely fit a lot more on there, but I like my contrast. And just so that no one feels left out, this is what they look like in direct sunlight. Both seem about equally terrible. Hard to say one over the other if either of them actually look any better, but this one's interesting. The um the text actually makes like a shadow in the uh like lower down. Which is weird. This one doesn't. This one's really black. This one's kind of see-through. So yeah, again, this one, just much more contrast.